Yes. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. This is Ella. I'm sorry? This is Ella. Hi. Oh, okay. Can you hear me good? Yeah, I can I can hear you good. Okay. Okay. Can you, can you hear me good? I'm no, not too good. There's background muffling going on. Now. Oh, okay. And now is good. Okay. Now so you, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned. Just, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm nothing. I just sat down. I was walking. I didn't even call. Mm hmm. Okay. So you mentioned that you. Uh, it's interesting because you wait. Uh, you mentioned that um, you seen some of my videos. So therefore, I don't have to explain to you how I conduct sessions. You're fully aware, correct? Right. Okay. Um, you hear me now? Cause it's. I'm sorry. I'm 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 hearing you. I'm sorry. I I'm definitely hearing you. Can you hear me? Yeah, but it's like um some background noise. Like perhaps like when you know when you text and then you hear a person you know press the button. Really? Yeah, but it's. Let me. Okay, what about now? Uh, yeah, all is well. It's not a it's not um a, a large sound or a big sound, it's just like I, I do hear background noise. So if you, you know, stay still or rather stay in the position that you're in now, that's fine. Mhm. Mm okay. All right. Okay. I, I really had you on I really had you on speaker, but I took you off the speaker. Oh, okay, yeah, then the speaker thing might have been why I was hearing um background noise. Um so in the okay. event, my love, mhm. Mm so in any so in any event, my love um, as you mentioned, you have seen my other videos, so I don't have to explain to you how I do, how I conduct sessions, but I do, excuse me, but I do, I would like to, um, I always mention to my clients that, um, you know, your spirit guides are going to tell me things about you that happened in the past, um, present, and that will happen in the near future. Most of the information, um, that they do deliver to me is, um, information to help you along your spiritual journey so you know anything that you have been battling battling with um spiritually um is definitely going to come up um in your situation but you know as i was dialing um your number i don't know for some reason they're saying to me ask her about her family um so i'm claiming that all as well um you know family wise um in any event do you do you hold a good relationship with both parents um, my mom, yes. My dad, no. Okay. Okay. Is this a recent thing or this is something that you're dealing with? Um, or rather letting go of? Um, well, I mean, we never had a relationship. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know him. I mean, I know him all well, but we, we just, we never had a relationship. Okay. I never thought I, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then that's, that's where that. You know, sometimes many of us, you know, because we don't have a relationship with our father or rather our mother, um, and it's like, oh, you know, it's all good. I never had a relationship with him. But deep down inside, there is what is known like an empty feeling or rather a void um, on a spiritual level that needs to be fulfilled or that needs light to be shined upon um, in any event or rather facing the fact that, you know, you wanted or rather you might have desired for that completion or you might have desired for your your father to be in your life but he wasn't so there this is a situation where because that's the first thing that came up they're saying listen talk to her about her father or not even her father her family um and that's why i asked so in any situation um you know allow your spirit to be free from that um i don't know how long you have been meditating or go you know or on your spiritual path but forgive yourself or rather not forgive yourself or say i release um because it is coming up on a spiritual level that um there is some type of emptiness um there or imbalance there or um yeah imbalance there dealing with family um or rather some type of tension um dealing with family in any event so and you just said it it was because you don't have a relationship with your father um so in any event my love 
um, going into uh, meditation, you can focus on the root chakra, um, you know, healing yourself from family issues, or rather, you know, you not having that uh, male figure in your life in any event. So moving forward, my love, and you can do that with the color red, um, you know, channeling or rather uh, meditating with the color red and just saying, you know what, I release this feeling or I am now released from not having him or rather I now accept, um, you know, accepting okay. that you never, you know, had that relationship. I don't know if you had a stepfather or someone to fill in that void, um, but the biological father wasn't there. So you accept it, you know, sometimes it may hurt, um, but accept it so that you can move forward. Um, is what they're saying in any event and do not allow what they're saying is and this is another thing that came up with you um, you trying to save the world and you can't save the world you have to save yourself first so in any event this is a situation where and this may be something that may be happening in the near future or even happened in the past where you're always trying to play this cap them save them or rather always there for people um, and situations, but you have to preserve that energy. Now is the time to preserve the energy for yourself. Um, Your phone the... is breaking up. I'm sorry. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, but it's kind of like a tone, like monotone kind of. Okay, because I have full bars. What was the last thing that you heard me say? You said that I'm trying to start saving the world and be captain safe, and then that's it. Captain Spade, that was it. Yeah, that was the last thing that I said. Okay. Yes, that was the last thing that I said. What they're saying is instead of always giving yourself to others or rather, you know, giving your energy um, in any event, I know that you may be a caring person, but it is time now to focus on yourself. Um, and rather to give the energy to yourself. I'm definitely seeing the color pink, um, pink vibration um, coming up with you. Do you meditate or do any type of... Um, I don't say that again. I meditate. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I meditate, but then I don't meditate. Like, I kind of listen to meditation music before I go to sleep and I just think about different stuff. Okay, this is my meditation. That's just what I do every mm -hmm. night. I just put on meditation music, and I think, and I drift off to sleep. That's just what I do. But I don't know if I call that meditation. I mean, that 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 is a form of meditation. Um, that is definitely a form of meditation, but I'm definitely feeling like more so you need to work on the expression. You know, it may be a lot of internal um, emotions inside of you um, that needs to be dealt with. And in order for it to come out or in order for you to ascend to the next level, um, what your spirit guides is recommending is for you to visualize this pink light and also speak the words of release. Um, and again, what you have been doing in terms of, are you hearing me good? Yes, I'm hearing you. Okay, great. Um, what you have been doing in terms of the meditation, that is good. But let's step it up a notch or rather let's go into another avenue where the spirit realm or rather your angels or your ancestors know what it is that you actually want. Or rather wants to help you um, with this healing um, process or with this spiritual growth um, that you are that you want to align yourself with. I'm definitely seeing um, the color f the number five with you. So we're dealing with a change. Did you did you move or you're looking you're looking to move somewhere? Uh no, I moved. Okay. Oh, you and just you just moved. Well, maybe yeah, I moved in February. Oh, okay. You just moved. But in. I know mm -hmm. I know I can maybe the change coming up in December. I'm getting initiated into mm -hmm. E5. Mm-hmm. 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 So I can probably see that as change you know number five is my birthday month also so yeah may yeah um definitely yeah. picked up that may energy with you but i'm more i'm more so feeling like um it may be an external um an external situation with you where you might just and again it may not be 
like quickly, but something may happen in the near future where you just may have to relocate out of nowhere or rather a spontaneous move. So this is something that you may not even know about. You know that you're going to get initiated into this EFA, which we could get right. into as well. But I'm definitely feeling like there might be a change, um, a spontaneous change. You want to definitely look into where your Uranus is in because there is going to be a change that's going to happen to you. Um, and again, it could be a spontaneous change in, in, in um, spirituality, as you just mentioned. Um, but definitely be careful, uh -huh. definitely um, be careful with, um, you know, definitely be careful with you entering into, um, you know, this new cycle or rather this new journey. Um, who did they say have you? Because Alu Dumare um, is coming through for you and he's sitting at the gates. Um, he's sitting at the gates and he's telling you that you need to be clear um, and you need to be clean before entering, um, you know, entering this cycle or rather entering. I don't know exactly because I'm not into Ifa. I don't know. Everyone has their own, um, you know, particular way that they do things. Um, or religious way. I don't know if it's a religious or it's a spiritual practice, um, but I do connect with the deities um, of Ifa or I, Orisha. Say that again. And you were, and you were asking about my, my head. Yeah. Who am I a child of? I know my head is Oshun and my feet is Ogun. Okay. All right, well... In any event, if you, you know, in any event, I do feel that Oshun energy with you. Um, definitely, yes. I do feel that Oshun energy with you. But again, my love, it's not about, I'm going to tell you one thing, you know, because I'm an outside person looking into this. And what, uh, this is what I'm picking up from your spirit, guys. Um, it's not a matter of these entities being higher or rather superior to you it is you knowing that you same you hold the same frequency as them you when you whenever it is what they're saying is whenever it is that you connect with them know that you're connecting connecting with them on a god to god level you understand like me and you we're connecting with yes, each other on a say that again yes i was just agreeing yes. yes on a god to god level because if you are allowing another entity to take control of your spiritual path. And I don't know why they're speaking to me like this. They're just, you know, giving me this advice or rather, you know, delivering these messages to you. They're saying once you, and this is, hear me closely, once you give your, um, you know, once you give permission for somebody else to take control of your spiritual path, then that means that this person could do whatever it is, rather it's Ogun, rather it's Oshun, rather it's Yemaya, rather it's Oya, rather it's, you know, Yem, Yem, whoever. Whenever it is that mm -hmm. you give your saying that, listen, you, I crowned you and I allow you to take control of my path, you no longer have that right to do whatever it is that you want because you gave it to somebody else. So be mindful, and okay. that's perhaps why Ala Dumare is coming through, and he's telling you, listen, be careful of how you approach this, and, you know, just be clean um, in any event. So it's going to be, a, a definitely going to be a lot of sacrifices, and that's perhaps where the, the, the number five is coming in at with you. It's definitely going to be a lot of different sacrifices that you are going to make, um, and I'm pretty sure you may be already ready because you made your decision, um, but... Just know that, um, you know, you can worship or I don't, I wouldn't even say worship, but you can definitely connect with these entities without having to commit. That's, that's okay. what it is. Um, and I'm not trying to talk you out of it. No, not at all, because you have to learn. This is part of your spiritual growth or spiritual journey, um, in any event, but on a personal level, um, on a personal level, there is. Um, a lot of healing, um, you know, or internal emotions um, that you you should begin to deal with um, before even getting involved um, okay. with this spiritual practice. Okay. Know? And these are just the messages that they are saying um, for you. Um, how, how do I hold? How do I? Do 
I mean, how do I heal myself emotionally? Like, what is the first step? Let me ask you a question. How old are you, please? 25. Yeah, they go to number five again. Yeah, they go to number five again. Yeah, they go to number five. Give me a second. What is what is the five? What's the uh? Let me see. You have um, you have Aries, um, you have Taurus, you have Gemini, um, you have Cancer. Oh, Leo. Leo is the fifth house. So we deal. We def definitely dealing with the Christ energy within you. Um, Christ energy. We dealing with Hey Ru. Um, the the pineal gland, the all seeing eye. Um, okay. In any event. Um, what number is Ogun? Do you know? No, I don't know his number. You want me to look that up for you? I can. Yeah. You, I mean, okay. See my number. Okay, cause that he may resonate with that. He may resonate with that. Um, he may resonate with that uh, number five vibration, if I'm not mistaken. Or Alu Dumare may resonate with that five reservation. But the only reason why. I wanted to know what house um, that sit in is because you hold this 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 number five vibration. Um, so what they're saying is moving forward. And if you and if you don't and if you're 25, um, and you know if you're 25, that means that's the number seven. So that definitely dealing with the Christ energy within you. But in no, in any event, um, to answer your question in terms of how do you heal yourself. The first thing that I, I mentioned to you is working with your root chakra, um, you know, grounding okay. yourself. Um, rather, it is going to a park um, or being in nature, having nature walks is what they're saying. Or, you know, anywhere where you can ground yourself, even, in you know, at home where you sit down in a lotus position um, is what they're saying. Okay. And opening up your heart to the universe or rather opening up your heart. Um, to the spirit realm. Um, in any event, okay. and I and I definitely would like for you to just be very cautious. Um, with people that you will be um getting into, you know, in connection with. Um, because I don't. Again, I don't. I will allow you to express yourself. I'm not sure who you've been dealing with in the past. I don't know. Oh, I remember when they said, um, stop trying to be Captain Save Him. That's the Leo energy. The Leo is Christ. Always want to say that's the lion. Um, you know, you, okay. you're the savior. Um, in any event. That's so, how. That's how. Yeah, that's how people look at me. Yeah, the savior. Um, and that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. How, be, that's fine to save others, but you have to save your, yourself first. Um, right. and what they mean, and what I'm telling you in terms of saving yourself first is coming into complete alignment with the divinity in you. Um, which starts from which starts from accepting the fact that you did not have this male energy, which is your father, in your life. I would definitely recommend, I would definitely start with that um, because we're dealing okay. with childhood, we ch we're dealing with childhood um, uh, absence is what your spirit guides are saying, straight like that, childhood absence. So you want to go deep inside of yourself only for you to get out all of the um, impurities that may be holding in. You know what? It's like a detox. Um, you know, like mm -hmm. detoxing your colon. And, and, and then within the basement of the colon, there's lots of toxins and there's lots of food that hasn't been properly digested. You want to get all of that out. Um, so that is okay. something that you um, should look into. And, again, that might take one month. That may take two months. That might take even a year. Um, we're dealing with childhood uh, you know, um, emotions, but again, follow your spirit, um, follow your spirit, don't second guess your spirit, again, everything is, um, you, 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 you know, um, and loving yourself, again, the color pink, um, came up, so you're dealing with universal love, again, if you want to work with Oshun, um, that Oshun energy, yes, it is, um, with you, um, in any event, but what does o what do Ogun oh is Ogun Ala Dumare or no? If I'm not no. mistaken. Ogun, Ogun is, just... is the Iron Man. Yeah. Okay. Yes, he's the Iron Man. Mm -hmm. yes. He's the Iron Man. He's the protector. Uh huh. Yeah. He's the Iron Man. I, I need to let uh, give me one second. Just it takes really good work. I just need to um just for me, because if I 
I get off the phone with you. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna double check this. Let let me see what uh this number Ogun because it's something it's a connection going on here. Um one second, there's a connection going on here. Um what what is what is going on? Let me see. Ogun. Um And where do you live? In Houston, Texas. Okay. Yeah, his number is seven. Yeah, you're 25, right. There's a connection going on. Remember when I spoke to you about the Christ energy? Yeah. yeah. And then they see his days is Wednesdays and sometimes Tuesdays. And today is Tuesday. Okay, and then his planet is Mars and Earth. So that, therefore, if you do want to work with Ogun, you can also work with Ogun um, to heal. Remember when I said grounding? Grounding is the earth energy um, in any event. So, okay. All right. And then his spiritual allies is Eshu Olegwa. Um, you know, Ogun, do, he, has, he has relationships with Yemaya, Oya, Erzuli, Doton, which is the color pink, um, which is the fabulous one, also known as um, Oshun um, in any event. And you do know that Ogun... Um, and Shango has, you know, has like a battle going on with them too. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you want to also be, you also want to be careful of that because in any event, if you're resonating with the Oshun energy, um, Shango is also related to her um, because that was once his yeah, wife I, as well. Um, yeah, I've I learned that because my husband is, it's Shango, his head is Shango, or, you know, so he's traits in my Ogun traits. They clash. We clash a lot. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Okay, give me one second. So, oh, and you know what? Their festival is uh, the 25th um, July, which is Ogun. Ogun's festival is the, the 25th of July, and he, and he resonates with the Haitian energy. Oh, okay. And I'm Haitian. That's why I'm like, uh uh, there's something uh uh there's this there's, there's something more to this. Um, okay, so we we dealing with me here. We dealing with my roots here. Okay. Um, what I was gonna mention to you, you said that um you are married to is your husband a Baba Lao? No. Oh. He's okay. not he's not even he's not an initiator or anything, he's just no. We just know who our heads are because we had our readings in the past from uh from people in the in the ETA and then they just told us who our head and see us and, and all that. Hmm. And do you resonate with that? You resonate with that energy? With him? With my husband? Like N no. I believe what No, I, do you resonate with do you resonate with what these the the readers that the EFA readings that you've been getting? Do you resonate with it or you're just <laughs> Oh yeah, or just you know receptive to it. Does it make sense to you? Is what I'm asking. It, it makes yeah some uh, yeah. I only have this is you're my third person I got a reading from. But yeah, uh, I had some reservations about one of mine. One one person who who read me, but not about the name, just about things that they that was said that was very um, generic, I guess. That was mm -hmm. very bland. That was you know that was off, not on this. That was. Yeah, that was just very vague. I'm gonna say vague. Well, that's perhaps what they just picked up. You understand? You people just tell many of you know readers they just pick up what they pick up, and sometimes information comes through, sometimes information don't come through. That's the right. difference in readings. You understand? Right. Um, but in any event, um, I just and I'm not, and again, I'm not telling you know trying to sway you out of anything um i just want you to be comfortable because this is how the spirit realm is is making me feel um i just want you to be comfortable in getting into or rather committing yourself um to this tradition or to this this these practices if you do not feel comfortable um and you know that you cannot be committed um do not do it because again you can you can honor and you can work with these deities without having to make that oh i'm part of the ephod tradition you understand and there's no disrespect um to the tradition 
Um, because look, I'm not in the tradition, and I I take Oshun baths, and and oh and and um issue leg wide Papa leg bar baths all the time. Papa leg bar. That that's actually crazy. You mean that you said that? Because I know I was told that they were like, you can do it. You can do stuff outside of the tradition. So like when you get initiated, like you will receive more. Like you won't. Like they will talk to you more. Like spirit world will talk to you more if you were in the tradition than if you were outside of the tradition because you actually made a commitment to be a part of the tradition. You know what that sound like to me? Uh-huh. You want me to keep it real with you? Please. <laughs> it sounds like religion. Come be yeah. a Christian. Come be a Christian, and 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 the Lord Savior is going to bless you more because you 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 committed to us. Wow. Wow. Come be a Catholic, and the Holy Ghost is going to is going to give you your blessings because you are now a Catholic. Come wow. be a Muslim. And pray breaks a lot five times a damn day, and Allah is going to give you your blessing. <laughs> yeah, I agree. So that's what I was waiting. Like, I know they was. I don't know. I thought my part of it, but I don't know. I was kind of waiting for the part of it because I know they said that they were going to. Uh, I guess my initiation, but they were like, you know, you can be cleansed and remove the blockages, and you'll get a, a oily cleansing and all that stuff. And I was like, cool. I need that so I can start fresh and I can, you know, advance. Okay, wait, stop right know. there. Stop right there. So, to be refreshed, to be to get an aura cleansing. Um, so is it ironic that I talk, spoke to you about dealing with the root chakra first? Um, is it ironic that I gave you a a remedy or I gave you a way to begin to cleanse yourself? And what did I say? I said from the root, right? Um, wow. so I ain't no, I ain't no, I ain't no E5 priestess. See, this is the thing. And that's why the spirit realm said, you have to approach this as if you are God as well. These people are not higher than you. Nobody is higher than you. I'm not higher than you. You're not higher than me. We are all on our own journey, but you have to understand our your own identity. You have to know who you are. And this is what I'm trying to convey, or rather I'm, I'm, we're recommending for you because this is coming from your spirit, guys, saying, listen, you don't got to go to these people. And, I'm, and again, I'm not trying to sway you from not going, but you don't have to go to these people to get this, 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 uh, um, this healing. You don't have to go to these people to begin to meditate or to begin to tap into the spirit realm. You don't have to. I have Oshun baths on my site. I have Papa Legba baths on my site. I have Yemaya baths on my site. As a matter of fact, 1111, here comes Friday, I'm taking Oshun baths. So you think, so you mean to tell, and giving her offering. So you mean to tell me because I'm not part of an Ifa religion, I'm not going to get her blessings? Because she done blessed me very well. See, that's the whole thing about about me. Like, I just wanted, if I knew myself wholeheartedly, like, if I knew what I came, oh, yeah, and they was going to be your old dude, like, your purpose, like, why are you here? If I knew why I was here and all that, then I would be, you know, I'd be better, but they say, they say you want to get your old dude when you get initiated. You only know purpose or what exactly you're here for when you get initiated. So I'm like, okay, cool, I'm going to just get initiated so I can know my old dude, my purpose, my, you know, my all that, because I don't, I don't, I don't know my purpose, or I don't know my, you know, my destiny, or what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so as I always, so as I, as I always tell my clients, beloved, as I always tell my clients, let me help you out, my love. Let me, let, let me initiate you into the spirit realm. Okay, as I always tell my clients, it's not what you should be doing is what you want to do on this particular planet. And the way that you figure out what your purpose is, is by going internal. You have to be consistent and dedicated to your own spiritual practice. That is evaluating and resonating with the spirit in you. That is the first thing that you do before even figuring out what a, look at the Buddha, look at Buddha text. Look at the Buddhism. Look how everything is self-evaluation, going internal, loving yourself, harmony and peace. They ne- certain spiritual texts never tell you to go outside of yourself. I'm just giving you the blueprint to figure out what it is that you should be doing 
on this particular planet. And whatever, again, that you should do, is it always comes within. No one can tell you. That's why when people say, oh, what should I be doing? I can tell you your gifts. I can tell you what you may be good at. But it all goes back to the person in terms of what is it that I want to do on this planet. Ask yourself, how can I change this planet? And they go that, <laughs> they go that stop sacrifice, you know, they go that, you know, sacrificing yourself for other people or trying to save other people instead of saving yourself, right? But that's the question that has been um, brought about with you. So it's like, it's like, how can I save the planet? Or rather, how can I save other, or how can I be, um, how can I contribute to this planet Earth? How can I contribute to the well-being of people? How can I, how can I do that? What is, what is it inside of me that I have, that I like to do, that I want to do at ease? You understand what I'm okay. saying? So when yeah. you, when, and, and again, this, this doesn't, this doesn't happen overnight that you all of, all of a sudden, oh, I figured out what I want to do. No, this takes time to figure out. Because it's your purpose. You're 25 years old. You 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 know you're 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 in you're at your peak right now. That's where that change is coming in at with you. The number five. Mm-hmm. It's no it's no need to rush. Because perfection is never rushed. Mm-hmm. Nothing in the universe is rushed. Nothing. So. Again, my recommendations, as the spirit realm said, your spirit guide said, you know, begin to, to, to be dedicated in your self-practice. Um, you want to start with grounding yourself, um, sitting in this lotus position, you know, uh, giving your, you know, giving your aura or rather um, being receptive to the energies around you, mind you, being in a clean environment or, or a comfortable environment. Um, and when I mean clean, I mean, you know, nice incense burning and the aura is right, basically. Um, being in a place where the aura is right. And then just breathe in that good prana, baby. Just breathe it in. Breathe okay. in the prana. Once you continue to do these practices, things will become, you know, it, it will be loose. It will be easier. It will be more receptive. And you'll be like, oh, okay. Now I get it. Now I understand. Aha. That Christ energy will resurrect with you. The Leo. The sun god. You're a Gemini? No, I'm a Taurus. Okay. Opposite Scorpio. Thank you. And we're we're actually in the Scorpion season. Scorpions deals with the underworld. Intuitive. Psychic abilities. Family. That's why the first thing that came up with you was family. Right. Um, so this session has been recorded. You can listen to it over and over and over and over again. <laughs> allow it. Allow it to process. You know, allow this to process. Um, you know, in your in your in your computer and your brain and your mental. Um, and I wish you well. And again. That that e five e five thing may be like religion to you. Sometimes people go to 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 be a Christian because they need help. They need that guidance. Sometimes people go to you know to be a Catholic or any type of religion practices because they need that guidance. That's okay too, but do not allow it to overpower you because you are God. You are an image of God. Ashay. Ashay. Real talk. Okay. Well, you, do you you gonna send it to me or do you upload it? I gotta watch it. I'm gonna up. I'm gonna upload it. Okay. All right, my love. Oh, you might be here for me a whole lot. I might need to read every every couple. Listen. Yeah. Let Let me guide you. Let me guide you, cause you know what? I'm not I'm not gonna take you away from who you are. Cause as a matter of fact, okay. I want all my clients or everyone to to look at themselves first. Don't don't look at what I'm doing. I've looked at myself. I know who I am. I want to help people like you to, to gain that power, you know, or to gain that, you know, to gain the strength to, to walk this path, this spiritual path or their spiritual journey. Let me help you. I've done it. I've been through it. I do it on a large scale. All right, my love. Okay. So I bless you. 
um, we'll be praying for you again um, 11 uh, Friday coming up 11 11 um, you know a time where the gateways is going to be opened up you can um, do you know do your rituals you can even do start with your your meditation your release um, you know your release meditations in any event or your acceptance accepting accepting what has happened to you and once you have accepted what has happened to you it is now easier for you to just let things go um in any event right um and 11 11 is definitely a great time that's that's a perfect time Let me okay well, thank okay. you so much yes thank you as well create a bless all right okay bye, bye.